Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. So hello and welcome to Wimbledon Station. Today you have been assigned a loan class 456 for this run to West Croydon. Let's get the unit set up and the doors open so we can uh, get uh, and we well, we leave in three minutes. But yes, we are on the Wimbledon to West Croydon line. Which you might be wondering, uh, Wimbledon to West Croydon line. Well yes, <laughs> this is where the trams are now. Um, but yeah, this takes us down to West Croydon, which is over here. Oh, and there's Mitcham Junction there as well. So yeah, this was originally a heavy rail line, but uh, in well, sort of the past sort of 20 years has been turned into um, well part of the Croydon trams. Um, so yeah, it's quite cool. And we're going to run the 456 on it. Oh, that's... Right, there we go. Okay, all good. Uh, let's set that today. Uh, we'll get the doors open as well. So I think, do you have to press? Yeah, they just open automatically on this one. Okay, cool. Let's hit the destination board. Oh, that goes really quick. Uh, well, we're going to West Croydon. Yeah, it feels really weird doing this. Especially once we get to Mitcham Junction. Because we've driven that bit, um, the Sutton and Mole, quite a bit. So it's going to be quite weird seeing it. Um, yeah, just it's going to be weird. So it's a terminating platform as well here. Diddy little platform. Well, let's get the uh, tail lights on. And this is a free route on backdated train sim. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you do want to give this route a go. Definitely worth it. I mean, it's free. There is a few requirements uh, which I've had to pick up, but nothing really. Um, yeah, nothing much. Um, would we have a guard on this service? I'd imagine probably not. So I'm going to assume I'm going to set that off. Or put that in. And now we wait. It's going to be weird though. So we've got um, Wimbledon. Let's see where we're at now. And then we've then got. It's at one time. There's a tiny station. We've got Merton Park, Malden Road, Mitcham. Uh, and then you've then got Mitcham Junction. Uh, which is is just, is going to be really weird to see, um, and then we've got Beddington Lane. Oh, these stations are tiny. Wadden Marsh, which is there, and then finally West Croydon, which is here. So I suppose if you've been living in London for sort of the past 20, 30 years, you probably will have a fairly good memory of this line. Although I think it actually did shut in '97. Yeah, I think it might have shut in 1997. So I suppose you probably would have had to been born in the 70s or 80s to have a good memory of it. As I doubt if you were brought in, born in the 90s, you probably won't be able to remember it very well. Anyway, this service is you. Oh, it is using God operation. Okay, that's, uh, we can. We we'll do that then. We might not hear it now, but or will we? Probably not. Oh, there you go. Set that to forward. And off we go. So is Merton Park next? On this very wet day here in South London. But I didn't think we did actually join up with any other lines. I thought it was just sort of on its own the whole way. So yeah, it's going to be quite cool to uh, see Mitcham Junction. As it was 25 years ago. And off we go. So I'll leave in the southwest main line. Off we go. Then it goes up to 30. It's not too far for the next stop. It's actually just there. I mean, you can sort of see why they turn this into a tramway, considering it is only, what, 25 minutes from one end to the other. The stations are tiny. Um, yeah, and it probably wasn't used very much, was it, as a heavy rail line? Perfect tram opportunity or light rail as trams are. And off we go. And did anyone ever travel on this line? And yeah, as I mentioned, this is a free uh, route. You'll find it on backdated train sim. Another really good one on there is the um, 1066 line, um, which is fantastic, especially is even better now. Because you could now actually do a full run from Hastings to London 
using that and also the new Southeastern Network group by Nicholas on the Steam Workshop. So good stuff. Right, coming up to Merton Park. And I think all of the stations are very dilapidated and very, well, <laughs> not in the best condition. And look at this coming in here. All overgrown and, yeah. So I suppose it probably used to be an island platform. Oh, it really is. Look how tiny the platform is here. Yeah, not, no yellow line, all in network southeast colours. Very um, well run down. Here we are, this is Merton Park. Although you have got the digital clock. <laughs> That's probably the only modernish, well, not really modernish, but the only thing that looks okay. Waiting for the bell. Let's go. But yeah, back in the uh, 456. Really been enjoying driving it since that first run, sort of on the um, South London network. Uh, let's click that. I think that's the one, isn't it? Let's get a uh, a nice little screeny, little screenshot. And that's how you turn on the lights. Press O. Up to 60. Slightly quicker section. That wiper is bloody quick. Can we turn that down a bit? That is flying. Oh, there is a slow setting. Can we have it on slow? That's really going for it. I don't know if that's on, on slow or not. We're well, coming into Morden Road. It's probably quite an easy route to do Hudless, considering the stations are fairly close to one another and it's probably 60 most of the way. Yeah, I came across this route from, well, I suppose two people. Uh, one from Rizzy, member Rizzy, and also PTG Rail, uh, who was giving it a go about half a year ago. I don't know how long this route has been out on backdated train sim. But yeah, look at this, so. You don't see many stations like this today, fortunately. Well, there's a slight charm to it, I suppose. It's sort of all run down, overgrown. But yeah, let's try and get those bloody wipers a bit slower. That, I swear that's on, that's on fast now, isn't it? I don't know, well that's, that looks better. Mitchum next. Sorry mate, you missed the train. Next one's in probably an hour. Yeah, so whenever you do go on the tram, the Croydon trams from from uh, West Croydon to Wimbledon, you are travelling on an old railway. But in the Croydon trams, I think they use, yeah, quite a few old lines, don't they? But it's nice to see them sort of regenerated and sort of put into there. Cool. And off we go. Yeah, some of the best routes are the free routes. Although this one, I don't know how many miles this one is. And there's seven stations and they're all... Well, how far is it to the next one? I suppose it's probably about ten miles long. Maybe slightly less than ten. So far, so good. As we go along on our little 456. Which I think the 456s were sort of the main um, workhorses of this route in sort of the final years because the platforms are so short. So a 455 probably wouldn't fit into any of them fully. Maybe Mitcham Junction. I doubt there was like a slow and fast service. Yeah, so probably 456s uh, for the sort of remainder of its time. I 
there we are, this is Mitchum. So I haven't actually been on the tram. I've only been on the trams one stop. Um, <laughs> yeah, only one stop on the trams I've ever been. And that was from East Croydon to, I think, George Street? I think it's, I think it's called George Street. That's as far as I've ever gone on the trams. I mean, I think that was to go to McDonald's. Bit embarrassing, but yeah. <laughs> and that was when I was on work experience um, at the Govia house, or the Go Ahead house, uh, which is at East Croydon. Yeah, so the only time I've been on the trams, it was to go and get a McDonald's. One stop. Very healthy. Mitcham Junction next. And we've got a 30 coming up. Which is 30 when you're also coming from Mitcham Eastfields and Hackbridge. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the other one, isn't it? Mitcham Eastfield, Mitcham Junction, Hackbridge, Carshalton, and Sutton. It's been a while since I've been on the Mole, uh, Sutton and Mole Valley. But I think they're the East Docks. Or the other ones. So within this vicinity. We've got 15 as well. Yeah, so the trams go to now the, I suppose on, on this side, they go to the right hand side, don't they, of the station, then up over the bridge, over the um, over the tracks, over the railway. Cool though. Is there actually a link? I'm just going to put the other look. Was there a link? Oh, there wasn't, no. So, oh, hang on, could you? No, you couldn't go. Yeah, so there was no connection to the uh, to the main line. I was gonna say maybe there was some cool sort of excursions, which went um, I don't know up from Sutton and then somehow onto the southwest main line this way. Obviously that wasn't possible. Or this when this route is set in the 90s. Might have been a link before. Got a 455 there and Connex livery that looks to be. The Connex livery suits a lot. I, I I like the Connex livery. It's a nice one. I know. Are you a fan of the Connex livery? It's uh, basic but nice. <laughs> Although uh, the Connex uniform or the Connex staff uniform, that's uh, that's another story. Just look up, I know, Connex. Connex Railway Staff Uniform. It's quite funny. Looks like something out of some sort of kids' TV show. Oh, I like that. Oh, if we can get a shot before that other train pulls out. Oh, the tail lights aren't on. But we can still get something. Oh, there we go, lovely. Probably missed the guard doing this one. Yes, yeah, so this is Mitcham Junction. Which, yeah, obviously now looks completely different as you've got the... Um, over on that side, that's where the trams would be. Then they then go up over the bridge and then I suppose continue off over where we're going. Weird to see it. Weird to see it. Back up to 60, the next one is Beddington Lane. I don't know, if anyone does if anyone does remember the sign going on it when it was heavy rail, which did you what did you prefer it as? A heavy rail line like this, quite dilapidated and quite run down. Or did you prefer it as well, how it is now as a tramway? Or probably more regular services, probably much nicer looking. I don't know, what do you prefer it as? But it's nice that we've uh, managed to, I suppose, 
complete another section of uh, the South London area. Oh, but this one isn't here anymore, but it's still something something new. I think we, we can add to our collection of third rail trackage. As you know, I do love my third rail. But then saying that, I do live in third rail territory, I have all my life, so it's quite biased. But I suppose if, if you if you yeah if you if, if you live in third rail regions, you'll probably say third rail is the best. If you live in overhead wire sort of areas, you'll probably say that's the best. That's I suppose what you used to. And you, and if you live sort of in between, then then you get a fair choice. There you go. This is Beddington Lane. Tiny platforms. Look at this. At most, a free coach. Oh, there's the board. Hang on, you're a little bit bit early to the show. This is supposed to be the 90s, not 2012. Oh, well. See, this route here would be like rivet. This would be... Uh, this has a rivet all over it. Uh, obviously, if it did come to train some world, which uh, I highly, 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 highly doubt it. Um, but if it ever was to, it probably does have rivet written all over it. But no, I can't imagine this line ever coming to uh, train some world or any other sim. Well, I suppose you probably could do this line fairly, you know, quickly. And it probably would be fairly popular as well. You know, a four, five, six, it's only what, less than 10 miles. Set it for about 15 quid. A bit like the uh, Rivet Isle of Wight. And it's Warden Marsh next. Slight gap to the, uh, to the station. Well, bigger than what it has been so far. There it goes. But yeah, thanks all for coming in. If, if you are enjoying the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It all does help out. As we uh, slowly get closer to West Croydon. Which we're actually almost there now. That was proper quick round those corners. Right, coming into Warden Marsh, we're sat on the right hand side there. Is that another, what's that? Oh, some sort of dual carriageway. Or some sort of big road. Looks quite industrial around here. Yeah, some sort of industrial estate. Like one of those um, gas storage things there. Don't see many of them nowadays, do you? Quite a lot of them have been uh, taken down, demolished. This is a very stark, lonely stop. This one. I think it's whoever just subscribed or did something. Now you'll know when I'm recording the video. If you're watching. And we are This is a very just. Dodgy, lonely station. You won't want to be here at night time. Industrial estate there, some dodgy houses, big gas thing there. And you probably can sort of see why it's called Wadden Marsh. Let's go. And it's West Corridor next. I love the way it sort of looks all run down. I like the way they've um, put the effects on for that. All run down and dilapidated stations. But 
yeah, link is below if you want to download this route. I think it requires the Portsmouth Direct Line, the new one. Uh, the London Heritage add-on, which I didn't have, so I had to get that. Uh, I think the class 455? I think that was one of them. And, of course, the South London Network. I could be wrong there, but you'll see all of the um, requirements in the on the website. So definitely worth having a look at that. Slowly making our way around. It comes down to 15. So we're joining back up with this would be the line to Sutton. Yeah, Sutton. So you've got, oh, I don't know, it's like, what, yeah, Warden. Uh, yeah, Warden. I don't know, I can't remember. I think there's something breach, isn't it? You might be able to see on the map, actually. Yeah, Warden Station. That's down there. Yeah, I think there's another two. I can't remember them. Carl Shorten Beaches. I think that's another one along there. Wooden, Carl Shorten Beaches and Sutton, I think. Or similar. Probably I'm missing one out there. That's a nice little line, that. It's a nice little journey. So about 20 minutes or so. That's why not a lot can go wrong either. I suppose the only things would be crashing into the buffers or somehow going for a red light at Mitcham Junction. And that's really about it. And there's not even a connection here to the line. So the only place you could actually get off here is um, at Mitcham Junction. Now here we are, West Croydon Station in the 90s. There we go. Welcome. Uh, let's do that. That goes like that. That goes on. And there we go. Then someone probably then goes back to back to Wimbledon for the uh, next service. Good job. That's us done for now. Another driver will be here soon to take the train back along to Wimbledon. Scenario complete. Lovely. But that is going to be everyone for today's train simulator video. Links can be found in the description of the Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. And I hope we'll see you next time. See you all and take care. Bye, guys.